Hi all. I got a mysterious kind of exciting beer to try. Saint Somewhere Brewing Company that's in Florida. Never had any of their beers, know very little about them. It seems like they're kind of like a Jolly Pumpkin type operation where they have kind of open fermented beers with house yeast. Um, Jolly Pumpkin's all oak fermented, so I'll, all their beers spend at least a little bit of time in oak. This one's not. This is not oak age, but it's like a saison with wild, the wild yeast or whatever is happening in their brewery. Um, and they, they dry hop it with Aramis hop or Arami. I think it's French, so it'd probably be Arami. It's 5% alcohol. I don't know the age of this bottle. And it's also in green glass, which is exciting. There might be a little bit of hop struck light qualities in here, but also the Brettanomyces may have been kind of preserving the hop to not be oxidized or anything, because I'm assuming there's some Brettanomyces character in here. I don't think it's going to be very sour. People aren't saying that, but it sounds like it'll be right up my alley. Yeah, so I don't even know. Oh wait, there we go, 2016. So this is a quite aged beer, like three years. So dry hopping might not be very very prominent at all. And let's see what the carbonation situation is. And it didn't gush. That was a loud pop, as you heard. Pretty cool when you can make these ultra carbon beers that don't gush. <clears throat> I don't really understand why some do and some don't. I should look into that. But nice dirty glass here. Of course, but it'll help to kill some of this crazy carbonation. Yeah, I wonder, maybe this has gotten sour over three years in the bottle. Wow, that's a dirty glass. Let's see if I can clean it up. It's smelling very, very interesting. It's smelling a little bit lambic-like. Not, n no oaky notes, but I mean, you might be able to give this to me and kind of trick me into thinking it's got oak aging. But that looks very nice. A little bit of haze going on, but no scary big chunks oh, coming up. Big head on there. Gonna stick around for a while. And it's, it looks a lot like a Guza. Bright golden, <laughs> little bit of haze. Mm. And it's got that fresh barnyard sort of thing. It's like big on the wildflowers, floral notes, and hay. But something funky in there. Not scary funky, you know, manure type notes or anything. It smells simultaneously old and fresh. Yeah, I love that. It's very dry, though. The bread is... Dried it out so it's tasting like, or smelling like I'm kind of underripe tropical fruits and grapes, but there's some peachiness, there's some, it's like, yeah, this is also simultaneously overripe and underripe fruits, you know? And a little bit of a muskiness in there. I'm not getting skunkiness, which is pretty cool. Yeah, no skunkiness at all. <clears throat> But I do like that aroma. It's not like the normal um, sort of old, weird Brett beer aroma that I, that, I, that I look for, but it smells great. Whoa. Much more sour than I thought it was going to be. Hmm. Maybe it's getting some vinegary notes now. Wow. I think it's mostly like acetic acid is developed. Because there's, it doesn't smell lemony and lactic. Has a good amount of body and it tastes pretty sweet. It might just be a kind of vinegary character. And yeah, there's kind of a, a red wine, not quite a balsamic character, but this is a very interesting beer. Yeah, I, I think in part I wasn't ready for that, uh, that acid, but. Yeah, some people might not be a fan of this. It's, it is, it's, it's, 
it's a, it's a very unique beer. I haven't had anything, had anything quite like this one. Mm. It's probably pretty, it's pretty close to Lambic beer, even though it's, it's not oak aged and you think that the oak aging is like really important. The oak aging and the aged hops and that's just what's missing from here. Otherwise, it's, it's pretty close to a Mavic beer. I guess I'm getting used to the sourness, but I wish it were a little less sour, honestly. Even though it's not making me pucker, it's just like a bird in the throat, a vinegary type burn. What's happening? People always say, like, Brett doesn't equal sour, but I think when you have Brett in a beer for three years, it's gonna, it, it can create a little bit of acetic acid. Surprisingly foolish body. I think it's just because of the age. It has a little bit of a texture, of a tannic-like texture on the tongue, but no oak tannins happening, of course. Yeah, it's, it's hard for me to rate this beer. Um, it's really it's, it's really good and really interesting. You kind of have to be in the mood. I had no idea really what to expect. But I... Definitely want to try other St. Somewhere beers, especially try them when they're fresh. I feel like when this is fresh, it'd be much hoppier and uh, less less sour, probably. Maybe I'm wrong, but this is definitely a brewery to look look out for. This is, and this is very different from like Hill Farmstead saisons I've had. This really has its own thing. I guess I haven't had a, a Hill Farmstead that's been like that old. At least not you know an Arthur that was. I haven't cellared one for three years. I've had pretty old ones and they stay pretty much the same, but this is like, this is really nice. It's like juicy in the flavor. I think it deserves a 4.25 or more, but the vinegar burn is the only thing that I kind of wish there was a little less of that. I'm rambling. That's good. Bye.